My dear aunt, pray write and let me understand how he of all people should have been there, unless you too are bound in the secrecy which Lydia seems to think necessary. My dear niece, I must confess myself surprised by your letter. If you were indeed in ignorance of the part that Mr. Darcy played in bringing about the marriage, let me enlighten you at once. Mr. Darcy paid us an unexpected visit. And so, my dear Lizzie, Mr. Darcy would brook no opposition. He insisted on doing everything himself and bearing the entirety of the expense. Nothing was to be done that he did not do himself. And your uncle, instead of being allowed to be of use to his niece, was forced to put up with having the credit of it. I must be allowed to insist on this. The fault is mine and so must the remedy be. It was through my mistaken pride, my reserve, that Mr. Wickham's character has not been made known to the world. Had I not thought it beneath me to lay my private actions open to the world, his character would have been exposed and this elopement could never have taken place. Mr. Darcy, I really believe you take too much upon yourself. I must insist on this, sir. I assure you that in this matter, argument is fruitless. Responsibility is mine. I must have it, sir. I shall not give way. <laughs>